Oh, there you are, YouTube. Doo 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 Subscribe if you're interested, but also no pressure. Hey, I think we're gonna do a random ranking. Let's go to my movie collection behind me and pick out three movies at random and rank those movies based on whatever criteria we come up with. I'll rank them here in the video, but if you'd like to rank them in the comments below, please feel free to do so. And what we're gonna do today, um, I'm gonna pick three movies right next to one another because we got to make this quick because I'm really booked. So let's just do these three right here. One, two, three. Also, I watched a movie today called Talk To Me. It's an Australian film, A24. First time I'd ever seen it. And I thought it was good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, this is funny because we just picked three movies all from the same franchise. I guess I might show them. Maybe I won't show them in the order. I don't know. But first off, we have Rocky IV right here. And this is not... I've heard it's been re-edited, which I have not seen. Uh, I've not seen the re-edited version. I've only seen this version with the robot. But supposedly it's been re-edited without the robot. Which sounds like something I would like better. Although maybe now that I'm older... Because when I was watching the Rocky movies as a kid... I, you would think as a kid I'd like the robot, but I looked at it and I was like, what the heck happened here? Now it's like I'm watching a cartoon. Rocky used to be realistic, and then now it's not. <clears throat> with that weird robot. So, this one I've always had a problem with. It's never really appealed to me as much as some of the other ones have. Uh, this one's always ranked a little bit lower for me, but I do know a lot of people really love it. He um, won the Cold War for us. And, yeah. Anyway, next we have Rocky II, where Rocky wins. I'm talking about that rematch with, with Apollo Creed, Carl Weathers. Rest in peace. And here, sorry to uh, spoil it for you, but this one actually might be the one that I have seen the least. I don't know. Actually, it's probably between these two. These two are the ones I've seen the least. Um, but yeah, you know, this one's still really good. It, um, you know, sort of gives us that rematch from the first one where, um, Apollo is not feeling satisfied because he thinks he should have like won in an overwhelming sort of way. And Rocky's like, you know, I'll, 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 uh, I'll, I'll do this again. Um, and then, you know, different outcome in the first one, because in the first one, we all know he didn't win, but in other ways, he did win. Next, we have, whoopsh, outside of the first one, my favorite Rocky movie. When I'm a kid, when I was a kid, this would have this is the one I would have told you was my favorite one, but now I've come to appreciate the first one the most. Uh, but this one here was my favorite as a kid, and it's still my second favorite. Why? Because it's Mr. T. I mean, I was a little kid in the 80s, so... Some of the heroes that I remember most are Mr. T and Hulk Hogan. So you're telling me Mr. T and Hulk Hogan, these two 80s icons from my childhood, are in a single movie with Rocky? Yeah, I'm going to love it. I'm going to I'm going to think it's great and also I just love all the all the like um what do you call it when you're when you're in an athlete and you talk smack, the smack talking that Mr. T is laying out there and he looks tough. He looks he looks like buff and like he's going to tear him apart. Apollo Creed looks like a boxer to me, right? Like I mean, I don't know what boxers look like, but in my mind he is a boxer, right? And then he just looks like like pure muscle. I don't necessarily think of him as a boxer. I think of him as just like a like a like a fighter who's going to take out Rocky. There was just something different about him. And I love that. And also, it's really cool because when you learn about the real Mr. T, <clears throat> you know, he was a great man, um, uh, good to kids, and had his own cartoon show, and, you know, just someone we really looked up to. But here he is playing a bad guy. Um, love Mr. T. So, how are we going to rank these? Um, I think, actually, I think I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this right here. Sorry, everybody, but I, I do need to give that um, re-edit a watch because I'm curious about it. But to me, I'm going to, just because of that robot, I'm going to put Rocky Four in the back. 
Rocky 2, I'm going to put second. Um, and then Rocky 3 is number one because of all those things I listed. I'm talking about, I'm talking about Hulk Hogan, Thunder Lips in um, this film, along with Mr. T and Rocky. It's just like uh, amazing uh, people, just, you know, childhood heroes all in a single film. So why wouldn't it be number one? So there we go. One more time. Rocky 3, Rocky 2, then Rocky 4. But my question to you is, have you seen these films? Look, this one is called A Two-Fisted Wallop. This one says Rocky 2 is a winner. And this one says, winner and still champion, Rocky Three. So my question to you is, have you seen these three films? And if so, what do you think of them? And if you've seen all three, how would you rank them? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below, and perhaps we'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.